Originally, I was going to just do a separate video for the off season, but I've actually decided to lump that into the end of today's episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that after our bowl game. Brees Hall did win the Heisman. He's an absolute stud from Iowa State. Unfortunately, Jalen Darden didn't even get in the top five, but they have released all the award winners and all the All-Americans. So we're gonna go ahead and look and see who from North Texas was able to get those awards. Jalen Darden came sixth in the Maxwell, sixth in the Walter Camp, Kevin Wood came sixth in the Benadark. Jalen Darden finished second for best receiver, even though he had much better stats than the winner. Kevin Wood finished fourth for best linebacker. And that's all. Unfortunately, we had no award winners. We should have some All-Americans here. Any in the All-NCAA? Come on. How is Jalen Darden not a top receiver? Kevin Wood did make first team All-NCAA though. Jalen Darden made All-NCAA second team. Obviously, he made first team All-Conference USA, as he should. Also, additionally, Dayton LeBlanc and Kevin Wood made first team All-Conference USA. Asher Frau and Devontae McRae, they both made second team All-Conference USA. And safety John Davis Jr. also made the second team. Now, we're taking on Tulane in the New Mexico Bowl. And honestly, not the worst first season ever. We are 7-6 and six right now. For Jalen Darden's sake, we need to come out and win this New Mexico Bowl. He's breaking tackles on the kick return. And he was honestly the best receiver in the country, even though they didn't give him the award. We are going to go out and we are going to pad his stats. We are going to increase his draft stock. Come on. Let's start off with the bomb from Jason Bean. That's a dot. Let's go, Jalen Darden. Anytime he is open today, we are throwing it straight at him, especially if they want to run man to man or press. Nice cover three. Horrible throw from Jason Bean. That was meant to go into the middle of the field. I don't know where he was aiming. I don't know how that even happens. That was possibly the worst throw I've ever seen. Let's get stopping that QB boy. run. Oh no. Make the tackle, John Davis. If they are passing here, this should be an absolute box. I can't see it not being one. Come on. I like this cross man here. Come on. Put him in a box. Halfback screen. I didn't even see it. That is my bad for sure. We should be able to come out and hold him to three here. Good read option by the QB, but you're not getting anywhere. Honestly, we've had great defense in my eyes. That slant isn't getting open. Okay, I see that. Good defense. I had to go out and put him in a little bit of a box right there. They just took their three. That's fine with me. But Jason Bean cannot be selling on throws like he did on the last drive. This is where Tulane's in trouble. They are pressing Jalen Darden. When does that ever work? Oh my gosh. They're playing great defense. This is where Tulane's in trouble. Tulane's in trouble. In trouble. <laughs> okay, we are going to ignore my horrible offensive start to the game. I'm going to go ahead, run defense like this right here. No, bad user. I got froze up in the middle. That's on me. Another run. It's not getting you anywhere. Third down defense here. Go for the run. I dare you. They're passing like they should. Everything's boxed. Come on, pick it. That is what we like to see. Come on, put them in a little box. My defense is elite. I'm telling you all, I keep improving on the defensive side of the ball. That is where I excel. Oh, we're not running man cover. Okay. No, no, he did not get his feet in on that interception. There's nothing to challenge. Are you serious? That is exactly what I get for talking smack. They have an 88 overall defense. It makes sense they're going to lock us up in man coverage. Come on. That route always creates separation, so I just thought it would again. No. I don't want to talk about it. What a horrible start to this bowl game. We're locking that up, though. Nothing should be open still. Come on. Put them in a box. Hold them to three. We're going a little five wide on them right here. Triangle's wide open. That's a dot. Let's go, Ogden making Get up the field. They have an 88 overall defense. They should be locking up like this. Good thing we have a man named Jalen Darden. Let's go, buddy. Fuck, All the way to the end zone. Keep going. Keep going. Get in. That's what we like to see. That's why he's the best receiver in the country. Now we're up one. I trust our defense here. They're going to just try to run the ball. It's not going to go anywhere. Oh, no. Oh, no. We finally gave up a big run. Make the tackle, please, somebody. Bring down the QB. Okay, they got me. They did get me. I couldn't make the tackle. No, someone. At first, we were getting all sorts of stops. Now they're starting to run the ball all over us. No way. We just knocked him right into the end zone. Look at Jalen Darden and how he is just that much better than the rest of our team. I feel like I can throw a deep post if Jason Bede had an arm. Let's see what they're giving us here. It looks like man-to-man -man coverage. Jalen Darden should be gone. Jason Bean underthrew it. 
How do you underthrow it that badly? No way. Yeah, Jalen Darden should be beating his man every time. If you're wondering why I don't run the ball, it's because one, our running back is super slow, and two, oh my gosh, that is pick number four. What a great way for this game to be going. They get the pitch off. Someone just make a tackle. All we have to do is send heat. They won't be able to run it all over us. That's a sack. Oh my gosh, the blitzer got in. Jason Bean can't escape the pocket. They get balled to start the second half off. We've thrown four picks. Nothing is going our way. I'm just going to sling it deep. Why not? Jalen Darden, make a play for me. If nothing else is going to go my way, at least we have Jalen Darden to sling it to. Come on. Give me the corner out all day. And now they're coming down, pressing Jalen Darden. You know that's not going to work for you. Let's go, buddy. Keep going. All the way. That's what we like to see from our star wide receiver. He's going off in the New Mexico Bowl. I like our defense. It's locked up. Get the pick. Come on. No way. We had two people with hands on that. We're going to send the heaters at him. Let's go. You're trash, kid. Get good. Come on. Get in there. No. Oh, QB missed the throw. We get the ball back before the half. It looks like they're running man-to-man -man coverage. No way you're boxing Jalen Darden. You should not ever run man-to-man -man on him. Don't disrespect him. Does Jason Bean have to go next year? You all need to let me know. We'll throw the curl all day. Bad read. Bad read. What on earth was I thinking? Completely different game in the second half. We're only down two. I'm going to play a lot better football. It all starts off with this defensive drive right here. You're not going to get to run that all over us this half. Let's go. Stop the run. Sit down. We're setting the tone here. Getting a stop. What are you doing on defense? Giving us a free sack? We've made the mistake of not running the ball. I haven't kept the defense honest. At least we'll scramble for a bit. Third and three here. What are they giving us underneath the Darden all day? I don't know how I feel about this blitz. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Still fast as fuck, boy. That's why we like Jason Bean on our field. Okay, we'll take the flat. You can give it to us all day. It looks like they're sending a little bit of a blitz here. I was right. That means there's man-to-man -man coverage on Jalen Darden, and we're going to throw a dot every single time. We're going for two here. Jalen Darden, come on. Keep getting across. Make the throw. Hold on. He dropped something. I was not expecting Jalen Darden to drop a pass. Our defense needs to come out. Continue to lock up. They got me with the read option again. That pitch is not getting you anywhere. No way he got up from that tackle. Luckily for us, Tulane's offense is not too explosive. We've been able to lock it. I should really stop talking. Anytime they've wanted, they've just come out and easily dominated us. Little read option. No way the QB just shed off the tackle there. You best believe we are sending the heat on this play. Oh, no way. Stop him. Third and goal here. I think we should be able to lock this up. No, no. Okay, he caught it out of bounds. Oh my gosh. Man-to-man -man coverage on Jalen Darden. It's not gonna work. Go, go. Are they pressing Jalen Darden? Last time I threw a press, it didn't work. This time, Darden's making the catch, getting to the outside. If you have ever wondered what the best receiver in college football looks like, I'll tell you right now. It looks like number one on the left side of the field. <laughs> Jason Bean, that is what we like to see. If they're just gonna come out and run the ball, we should be good. Let's get our guys in the box. Nothing's open. Throw me a pick. Please, throw me a pick. I like it. Oh, no, that's not going anywhere. Halfback screen. I'm getting there. Come on, Crosby. Make the tackle. We might have a 63 overall defense in this dynasty, but it doesn't matter. I'm just better. Let's go, Jalen Darden. Get to the outside. Keep going. Everything is becoming a dream. Oh, no. How did this blitzer get in so fast? I don't know what I'm going to throw here. Why is Jalen Darden wide open? I saw that. I saw that. Let's get into the end zone, buddy. Third and seven here. If I'm able to get a stop, it's over. Bad, bad user. Come on, boys. One stop. One stop. Oh, I'm right there. I'm literally right there. I switched it up. We're running some man to man now, and we're getting a sack. That's open underneath. Pick it, Gaddy. How are you that slow? That should have been an easy pick. Our team is just too slow. We are five yards away from winning our first bowl game. Let's go, Oscar Adaway. We're going to be fine. Big third down. Jalen Darden's open in the flat. Hold on to it, buddy. We will take that. Here we go. The last knee. We are taking home a bowl trophy. 
There we are, celebrating. Look at me, Jason Bean told me up. The mascot's having a good time. What a season we had here at North Texas. And there he is, Jalen Darden standing up on the bench, 13 receptions, 353 yards. He was amazing for us. Everyone celebrating in the confetti. What a season that was for North Texas. Let's go ahead, add the New Mexico Bowl to our profile. And now we get to look at the records. Jalen Darden set the record for the most receiving yards in a single season. Jason Bean set the school record for the most passing yards in a season. Obviously, Jalen Darden got the school record as well for most receiving yards in a season. And we finish off with a bang. Florida wins the national championship in year one of our dynasty. We're going to go ahead and sign our contract at North Texas. Now, here we go. On to the players leaving. The most sad part of our episode. There he is. And somehow, 99 overall Jalen Darden at 5'9 is not getting drafted. I know NCAA football has a certain height and weight requirement for certain players to get drafted. I guess he is too short for that. And then we have to look at the rest of our seniors. Our defense is taking a big hit with Mikhail Sanders, Cam Johnson, Asher Frow, and Tyreek Davis all leaving. Jason Pirtle, our star tight end, is also going to be gone. And Dion Noville, one of our defensive tackles, gone as well. We're taking a lot of hits to our defense. We're losing our best receiver in North Texas history. We also lost both our defensive coordinator and our offensive coordinator from last season. Now, unfortunately, Jalen Darden did end up going undrafted, but that's not the end of his story. The Houston Texans, led by star quarterback, Tyrod Taylor went out and gave undrafted receiver Jalen Darden a chance. By the time the 2021 to 2022 NFL season has started, Jalen Darden has moved himself up to the number two receiver on the depth chart. Hopefully Jalen Darden goes on to have a great career as a Houston Texan. We did get two transfer requests. We actually got a huge one, Trey Cleveland from Texas Tech, the 6'4" freshman wide receiver looking at his stats he's got 90 speed 91 excel trey cleveland's going to be a huge addition to the roster jace godley as well a 70 overall free safety 81 speed 92 excel we'll make it work i think he could be a beast so we're definitely letting both these players join our program and transfer here we have a few players on our board that we are still targeting for recruiting harry dunn is going to be the big player that we need we need him at qb we're going to redshirt him and hopefully develop him we also need arthur gardner he is a 90 speed wide receiver, and we really could use another wide receiver on our roster. We're going to move Tanner Richard to end if we're able to get him, turn him into a pass rusher. So we're evenly splitting all of our points on these three recruits. There might be better ways to do this. Oh, well, we're going to advance to signing day. Come on, give us the good news right here. Here we go. We did not get Arthur Gardner, but we did get Tanner Richard and Perry Dunn. We also got Justin Carter, a 68 overall left end to commit to our team, even though we didn't put points on him. And a couple more right ends. Oh my gosh, we should have just gone after Arthur Gardner. We have a ton of left ends. Moment of truth. How good was our recruiting class? Where did we finish? We finished at 33 with four three stars, 12 three stars, and three two stars. Not bad for the small school out of North Texas. Our school prestige also went up from a one-star school to two-star school. So overall, last season's recruiting class and last season in general was pretty solid. Now we get to move on to my favorite part, and that is position changes. Starting off with Aaron Haynes, the athlete, 93 speed, 85 excel, 92 carrying, 85 route running, with only 59 strength, 73 agility, and 55 truck. I think we have to move him to wide receiver. I asked you all on Instagram to name our upcoming recruits. So I will be changing a lot of player names when I have the option to edit our roster. Paul Williams is going to be an absolute beast for us. I think we're going to have to redshirt him. I had to figure out who was going to play where on our offensive line, who I'm going to redshirt. It's just a few overalls difference for all those players. It doesn't really matter. And now that we're moving on to defense, this is where the position changes get real good, especially for me because I'm such a defensive minded player. First off, I've moved Tanner Richard over here to a left end and then on the opposite side, Devontae McCray in at right end. We got 74 speed Jordan Rucker that I'm moving over to left outside linebacker. Kevin Sims, we're going to move over to free safety and redshirt him so he can replace John Davis when he graduates this year. Keelan Crosby's got a little speed on him. We're just going to move him over to middle linebacker. And honestly, we have a lot of strong safeties I don't think we're ever going to use. There actually weren't as many position changes as I was thinking there might be. But now we get to go over and look at the training results, which will upgrade all of our players. Devontae McCray is going to be the best player on our roster. Trey Cleveland's an 81. Jordan Rucker, who was originally a corner, goes up to an 80 overall left outside linebacker for us. 
Jason Bean is seven overalls worse than Austin Awney, and he has four less throw power. Throw accuracy is the same, but he does have some speed on him. Who should we be using to start the season off at QB? I wish we could have Trey Cleveland on the roster this season, but since he's a transfer, he'll have to sit out a year. So that leaves us with Ogden Macon, who did go up to 83 speed. Deontay Simpson and Greg White both went up five overalls, and there's not much else to see on this roster. Some of our linemen did go up to about 76 overall, which is nice. Kevin Wood is only a 72 overall, but if you all remember, he was an absolute beast for us last season. Some of our corners did gain an extra speed, which is super nice to have. John Davis is up to a 74 overall, and Jordan Nichols, who I might be using as a sub linebacker, has 82 speed now, 92 excel, up to a 70 overall. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the preseason in this episode, so when we get into the next Dynasty episode, we'll go ahead and jump into our first game. I'm also going to go ahead and edit the player names now that you all asked me to edit. This will go for all the new recruits and maybe some players that were redshirted last year that haven't made a name for themselves yet, so we're just going to switch it up before they actually come out and play for us. If I also do think someone's going to start for the team, I will go ahead and edit their swag as well. Now it's time to go ahead, get into red shirting. We're going to go ahead and red shirt Perry Dunn. Whenever Jason Bean and Austin Ani graduate, he could potentially be our starting QB. And remember, we only get five total red shirts each season, so we have to use these strategically. The second player we're going to redshirt is Clayton Johnson, who does happen to be Calvin Johnson's younger cousin. We're also going to redshirt Tanner Richard. I think he could be an absolute beast if he comes in as around an 80 overall end. I also believe it's in our best interest to redshirt Jace Godley, who just transferred in. And lastly, we're just going to redshirt Nick Denman, who is a 68 overall offensive lineman. Now, before we meet the team, we're going to go ahead and customize our schedule. After North Texas came out and upset Purdue basketball, they've invited us to go play at their place. So we're going to take our chance to go and beat them. We're also going to take on Texas at Texas this season. That's going to be our big game. And then we will play our rivals SMU at home. The rest of our schedule is just conference games. We play at Middle Tennessee State week 10, who is another one of our rivals. And yeah, now it's time to meet the team. Jason Bean is our starting QB as of now. It could be Austin Ani. I need you all to let me know who you think should start down below. And at halfback, Hayden Leeds has had an amazing camp. He has actually leaped over Oscar Adway and completely taken the starting job at 82 speed, 95 excel, 70 trucking, 72 break tackling, and an 85 spin move and juke move. Deontay Simpson's our wide receiver number one. Greg White takes that number two role, and Ogden Macon takes the role in the slot. Starting at tight end, freshman Paul Williams actually comes in and takes the starting job, followed by Christian Lee and Asher Alberding, offensive lineman you all don't really care about. Then over on the left end, we got Tanner Richards starting, and on the right end, Devontae McRae. Dayton LeBlanc, who was an All-American last season, starts at defensive tackle again, of course. Jordan Rutgers, our left outside linebacker. Kevin Wood is our starting middle linebacker, another All-American from last season. Freshman Jordan Brown takes the starting right outside linebacker role, but he might be subbed out with the safety a lot of the game. Andy Dwyer Jr., one of our best recruits, 96 speed, 95 excel. He is our starting corner. Then he is followed by Deshaun Gaddy and Quinn Whitlock. John Davis, who was an All-American last season and an absolute stud for us, He's coming in at free safety starting. And then Shelton Wright, the 6'7 strong safety, is obviously going to be our starter there. At kicker, we got Ethan Mooney, the senior, with a boot, and Bernardo Rodriguez at punter. We're going to have Andy Dwyer returning kicks this season for us. Obviously, 96 speed is nothing to mess around with. We want him returning every single kick. And yeah, that's the team pretty much. We're going to go ahead and scout some recruits find them and add them along to our recruiting board. Andre Bozeman has us as his number one option. He's a 67 overall four-star QB. We might as well add him to our board. Lance Leonard, a hard hitter, 74 overall free safety from Dunlap, Texas. We'd also love another four-star and 75 overall four-star Jerome Higgins, obviously gonna get added to the board. I'm gonna go ahead and fill the board out with the rest of the players that are interested in our school. Remember, we can only recruit players that are originally interested in our school or they have to come from a state touching our pipeline states. Obviously, we don't have any others besides Texas right now. So the only states we can recruit players from the season are Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. And most likely anyone you see on the board won't stay on our board for long. Once we hit week two, we'll know who we're actually going after. I'm just going to go through, scout all these players. I'll let you all know if I find anything interesting. Andre Bozeman, the quarterback that wanted to come to our school. He's a four star, but he's getting thrown off the board instantly. However, Lance Leonard, 95 speed. That is something we can work with. Seth Fletcher becomes a 78 overall tackle. We're number two on his board right now, and I didn't find much that looked great. 
but we do have a kicker we're going to go after. 84 overall. We do need a kicker this season, so I might as well go after a good one. And yeah, that's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you all did enjoy. I will see you all on Friday when we start season number two of the North Texas Dynasty.